After going through the systems approach of operations management, let us now look at operations as a means of creating utility. What does this term utility mean? Utility is the power of satisfying human needs. So operations is also defined as the process of adding to the value of the outputs or the process of creating utility in outputs. So in addition to value, we say we are adding value through the transformation process. Similarly, by adding value, we are creating what is called as utility in the outputs. Utility is the power of satisfying human needs. So during the process of converting the raw materials into finished goods, various types of utilities are created while adding value to the outputs. Let us see what are the different types of utilities. First is the form utility, which is created by changing the size, shape, form, weight, color, smell of inputs in order to make the outputs more useful to the customers. Now we have seen one example during the systems approach discussion, a manufacturing unit or a steel manufacturing unit where raw materials inputs are transformed into outputs. So what is happening there? The form of the input is transformed into output. So it could be size, it could be shape, it could be form, weight, color, smell, something that changes the inputs into outputs. Examples are iron ore is changed to steel. You can see the form, form change of form there. Wood is changed to furniture. Now for, furniture the shape, form, size, weight, color, see wood, raw wood is changed to furniture. So these are some of the examples where a transformation of the form takes place. So one type of utility is the form utility that is the change of the above mentioned parameters, size, shape, etc, etc. Second is the place utility. This is created by changing the places of the inputs or transporting the inputs from the source of their availability to the place of their use to be converted into outputs. Now I want my materials to go to the customer who is using it. An example which can be given is the iron ore and coal which are transported, transported from the mines to the steel plant to be used in the conversion process. So there is a change in the place of input transportation from one place to another similarly i want to avail the facility of a taxi or a cab i am at destination one i need to go to destination two by ordering or availing the services of the taxi my service provider that is a taxi is providing me a service of transporting from one place to another. Similarly, it could be transportation of goods also. So place utility. What does the customer achieve by this? What is the utility created here? Place utility. Next is time utility, which is created by storage or preservation of raw materials, which is created by storage or preservation of raw materials or finished goods, which are in abundance sometimes, so that the same can be used at a later time when they become scarce due to higher demand exceeding the quantity available. So time utility, storage, I don't want, I have brought something or bought something which I don't want to use now, I want it for a future period. So what do I do? I store it or preserve it, and that is time utility. I'm using it, I'm creating or creating a utility based on time so that I can consume it later. Possession utility, which is created by transferring the possession or ownership of an item from one person to another. For example, when a firm purchases materials from a supplier, the possession utility of the materials will increase when they are delivered to the 
buying firm so the position now shifts from the supplier to the customer similarly when uh, you buy a house from someone the ownership changes changes hands that is again position utility house which was in the possession of a particular person through the transaction has now shifted to some other persons so some other person so that is a change in possession utility similarly uh, you go to a petrol uh, or a gas station that is a petrol bank uh, uh, and uh, transfer petrol from his uh, storage to your vehicle so there is a fuel which was in his possession is now transferred into your possession so it now becomes an example for possession utility service utility this is the utility created by rendering some service to the customer for example a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer creates a service utility to a client or a customer by rendering service directly to the customer or the client the expertise of a particular person is transferred utilized to solve the problem of another person service utility a example for service utility and knowledge utility created by imparting knowledge to a person for example a sales presentation or an advertisement about some product which communicates some information about the product to the customer thereby imparting knowledge similarly teacher and student student and teacher teacher imparts knowledge whatever is known to him again that can again be a part of the expertise also but knowledge utility any information which is stored and which if utilized for a good cause for some output if it is shared it comes knowledge utility what are the responsibilities of operations managers meeting requirements of quality demanded by customers of course we saw one of the objectives was meeting requirements so this is a responsibility which an operation manager might look after establishing realistic delivery or completion dates producing the required volume of products to meet the demand selection and application of most economic methods or processes controlling the costs of inputs and conversion process thereby keeping the cost of outputs within the desired limits and all these responsibilities have to be utilized or these responsibilities will involve the amalgamation of five p's which are what are the five p's here product plant processes programs and people we'll see one by one in the subsequent slides we come to the first p which is the plant plant or the place where your operations takes place it could be a factory it could be a service center it could be a warehouse depends upon where the service is actually taking place or where the manufacturing is taking place the creation of the product in case of manufacturing goods or in case of services it could be the place where your services are and so plant is usually associated with the production processes so major considerations are the design and layout of buildings the design and layout the layout facility facility planning is a very important concept in operations management facility planning refers to how the machines how the equipments are to be laid out and also how your entire plant has to be designed in terms of layout and arrangement of the machines so facility layout. first of all location starts with the selection of the location and then it deals with facility planning facility here rep uh, represents first the land then the layout and the building equipment and of course the interior layouts of the entire factory so this is a very important consideration right from the point of view of location evaluation next performance and reliability of the machines and equipments whether the machines and equipments are performing according to the norms or according to the 
performance levels that we have to check and also reliability whether a particular machine or an equipment is reliable reliable in the sense is it functioning the way it has to function does the machine function according to the function what is the prescribed function and how reliable it is reliable how good how effective it is in terms of performance maintenance of machines and equipments very important whether it is breakdown maintenance or preventive maintenance machines and equipments are like all human beings also require constant upgradation through you no know, uh, through fitness machines and equipments also have to follow fitness routine what is the fitness routine for them fitness routine is the repair and the maintenance part similarly the safety of installation and operation of machines and equipments safety of installation it could be something related to the operating uh, procedures it could be the training safety uh, training of the operators it could be something related to electricity power etc etc and also the layout of the machine the arrangement of the machine should be such that uh, the installation of the machine should be such that the movement of goods and uh, movement of the people is taken care of so it should be safe for the operations environmental protection already discussed previously a very important point environmental and societal protection that is very important next we come to p next p is the process very important point available capacity capacity planning and management that is a very important point here of course when demand changes your capacity utilization also changes you might have a capacity to produce x number of units but if the demand is say fluctuating and in that case judicious usage utilization of the capacity is important so first of all you have to plan for a available capacity then utilize this capacity accordingly available labor skills now labor skills when you scrutinize or explore the possibility of uh, the uh, skills required for the job labor skills skills required by the laborers are very important especially in term in uh, on a daily basis so this labor availability skills also depend upon the labor available and this is purely uh, region oriented so uh, labor skills uh, you might not get uh, proximity to the best labor uh, laborers nearby we need to have a planning regarding how to procure labor good good uh, well uh, skilled labor as well as uh, you also have to look at the proximity of the availability of labor so that is another very important point next is type of production what type of production are you undergoing we will see the different types of production in our next lesson but right now we will uh, understand see every manufacturing process is classified based on the quantity produced as well as the standardization or the customization done for the process so this is the type of production it the process parameter also depends on the type of production layout of the plant and equipment layout of the plant and equipment is also very important where the safety requirements these are directly connected plant and the equipment layouts also ensures safety requirements cost of the process cost of the process the process that you adopt must be utilized and should give you the return on investment accordingly so it should not be see the selection of the process of course depends upon certain factor rating and other methods so it's very uh easy for us to say that the best po possible process should be adopted but then if it's too expensive and uh, uh, your inflow is affected by that investment it's better to think twice so the cost of process has to be under uh, has to be taken into prime consideration before making a decision next p is the programs where the most important uh, point is the design schedule now right from the design phase your schedule should be well planned enough so that at the latest stage during the production stage the uh, the program the uh, production process does not face any problem so design schedules have to be properly formulated 
purchase schedules very important you have suppliers but then if there is no proper planning now that's where inventory management comes into picture so purchase schedules have to be made in advance not just when you find out that yes uh, order has come and when you go to the stores and see there is no inventory there are no materials you then panic call up the supplier who says that he doesn't you know all uh, supplies are uh, exhausted in, he asks you for another two days and both are at dead end then so that is the problem so you have to have a proper purchase schedule and also proper rapport with the purchase department the purchase department and the supplier should have a good rapport should have good understanding and also have good relationship next manufacturing schedules production schedules or manufacturing schedules are very important now these manufacturing schedules determine the costs related to operations now how how well you utilize the machines how well you utilize the workers and how well you get the outputs now these manufacturing schedules of course done through some uh, quantitative techniques you in operations research there are many scheduling techniques which will give you the optimal schedules for the uh, machine man, man machine problems so, so that is another aspect manufacturing schedules have to be properly formulated assembly schedules again a extension of this assembly schedules packaging schedules packaging is a very important point when it comes to products products have to be packaged in order to ensure safety in order to ensure uh, uh, non destruction in to ensure that they are intact when they reach the customer so that is another part during transportation you may get certain uh, uh, situations where the packaging goes off the products gets you know damaged and the customer will express his dissatisfaction with it that might affect you so packaging schedules have also to be properly planned dispatching shipping shipping schedule so dispatching schedules very important so that every customer requires or uh, gets his ordered products in time so this is very important so the proper transportation techniques assignment techniques have to be formulated and proper resources have to be scheduled like trucks ships etc whether you are scheduling it by uh, airways railways or by road it has to be well next to piece the people very important people managing people is the most difficult task because different people are made of different framework different they are of different types each person has a different uh, thought process it's very difficult to manage people the people are always you know uh, dynamic in nature so one set of skills in a particular person might be absent in another person so each person will have will be dominant in a particular skill set so basically there are three skills uh, identified in organizations one is a technical skill one is a conceptual and design skill and third one is a human skills so each person will have a different orientation towards a particular skill so that becomes very important next knowledge base people will have varying uh, no knowledge uh, levels various no knowledge levels they will have to be trained on a particular set of knowledge knowledge keeps on changing people need to upgrade themselves and the organization took sh should take an initiative to train people to upgrade this knowledge skills knowledge knowledge levels intelligence different people with different intelligence levels so you need to now look at people's intelligence levels for now uh, you have to you know formulate and uh, uh, give them ex access expose them to certain situations where their intelligence will come into picture so that is another thing constantly monitoring the intelligence levels and making them work towards upgrading themselves motivational levels very important often people get uh, you know down or just get demotivated by certain uh, actions of the management now this is a common uh, feature but motivational levels the best how best can employees how best the employees can be you know motivated to keep rolling you know keep you no know, keep uh, moving forward with the job so that is another thing which is very important in the operations function